Hello, Pre-Trivers. Uh, Happy New Year. It's 2014. Uh, this is the first uh, video that I'm putting up uh, for the year 2014. It's been a while since I posted anything uh, over here on Pre-Trib Rapture Truth. But I wanted to um, talk a few minutes about, I guess, what most other people um, who love God and love the rapture are talking about on YouTube um, these last few days. It's regarding the date setters, uh, people setting dates for the rapture. Many people uh, said that God told them that the church would be raptured, you know, in the year 2013. And um, obviously it didn't come to pass. We're, you know, the church is still here. So a lot of these people have uh, been shown to be false prophets. Uh, it happens all the time. And I wonder when people are going to just uh, stop following after these false prophets. A lot of people, uh, no matter how well-intentioned they are, uh, they're false prophets. And, and you may say, I'm not a false prophet. Uh, according to the uh, definition in God's word, you are a false prophet. Uh, doesn't mean that you can't repent and God definitely forgives. Um, thank God that, you know, we're not living in the Old Testament days. Otherwise, you wouldn't be as fortunate. But God does forgive. Uh, people should repent and ask God to forgive them and and put on their channel too of all the people that they misled they still are going to have to give an account to the people who fell for um, their deception uh, it, it's God's going to hold people accountable this is a serious thing people should be careful and I warn people all the time on my channel to get into your Bible you have anything that is said YouTube or wherever, if it doesn't line up with what the Bible says, you need to reject it. You need to reject that and do not follow after people who are teaching something that is contrary to the Word of God. And especially these people on YouTube who claim to have dreams and visions and all of this. If it doesn't line up with God's Word, you need to reject it. And I guess a lot of people, they are, and I don't want to offend, but a lot of people are lazy. They do not want to get into God's Word and um you know study god's word and know uh the truth and not be deceived um the bible says that the devil and his ministers can change themselves and themselves into ministers of light and uh people will be deceived if you can't back it up with god's word what these people are saying then they should not be followed but uh i just saw um on YouTube a video where uh, this guy who was saying that he's not even going to talk about the rapture anymore and <laughs> it, I bet you the devil he is slapping high fives he is laughing his behind off uh, and he's telling his demons mission accomplished if you do not talk about the rapture anymore you call yourself you know a Christian and you're supposed to be an end time watchman on the wall but you're going to say you're not going to talk, talk about the rapture anymore. Uh, you're just falling right into the hands of the devil. And he has got you. He got you. He's telling his demon uh, generals and commanders, uh, well done and bravo. He's laughing his behind off because he's saying mission accomplished. But if you are also, if you follow that, you're going against God's word. Um, read the rapture scripture. First uh, Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 18 where it says wherefore comfort one another with these words uh, that was not a suggestion uh, with the Apostle Paul made uh, and the words that he's talking about just read the previous two verses it's talking about the rapture for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words 
I don't know about you, but I'm going to keep on talking about the rapture. I'm going to keep on doing what the God, what God's word tell me to do, which is to comfort one another with these words. And the guy that said that, uh, he was saying something about, uh, uh, do you love the rapture more than you love Jesus? Jesus is the rapture. He is the blessed hope. You can't separate the two. And, um, and, I, and I'm just wondering, uh, maybe uh, that was the plan in the whole, um, at, at the beginning of, of all of this, uh, to uh, discourage people from talking about the rapture. So, it, it, it's just ridiculous to even say such a thing. I guess maybe the, this person is not going to talk about the rapture anymore, but they're going to sit up and spread the bad news of the devil and all the things that he's doing, you know, the the bad news uh he's i guess he's going to keep on talking about his dreams and visions so i guess he, he holds his dreams loves his dreams more than jesus and more than jesus uh blessed hope to come and get us um you know so the devil has got you exactly where he wanted you he's laughing his rear end off but I can tell you, he's not going to be laughing at me because I'm going to keep on talking about the rapture, the pre-trip rapture of God's church. And I, I just don't get it how people just cannot wait patiently for the Lord. Why do they have to jump ahead and try to put dates on God's uh, blessed hope? It's, it seems like there's two extremes. You're either one side, they just totally against the rapture. Uh, just disbelief and then the other side people that's just wild and crazy and will accept any just wind of doctrine concerning the rapture I mean it, it's crazy why cannot people be balanced and just take God's word for what it says and you know and trust God and just watch and pray and wait and comfort one another with these words instead of trying to get a jump on God. And I guess because of pride or just the being used a tool of the devil to cause people to stumble like this guy saying he's not going to talk about the rapture anymore. Uh, it, it's just uh, ridiculous. The devil is laughing his behind off. He's saying mission accomplished to... Um, the spirits that were guiding these false prophets and these people who are led to say that, you know, set dates that don't come to pass. So I just wanted to make a video and just let the devil know and let everybody else know. I'm not going to stop talking about the rapture. That's God's word. That's our blessed hope. That's his command through the apostle Paul to wherefore comfort one another with these words, the words of the rapture, the pre-trib rapture of the Lord coming and getting his bride away from this wicked place before he pours out his wrath upon the wicked. And that's just plain uh, Bible truth. And just because some people act foolishly and set dates that do not come to pass, that's not going to make me stop talking about God and his word. It's not going to make me stop talking about the blessed hope, the promise of God. So, yeah, the devil, you got some. You got some, but you ain't getting me. I'm going to stand on God's word. I'm going to stand on his word. And I'm going to continue to comfort my brothers and sisters regarding the preacher of rapture. Keep looking up. The Lord Jesus is coming to rapture his bride um, away from this place. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.